Hi everyone! In the mail today, I received my Love Me Right Romantic Universe albums. As you can tell, I ordered three albums total. Of course, I got the CD plus DVD edition, as well as two member covers. Before we open up the albums, here are the bonus postcards that were included with the first press limited editions. And since I pre-ordered these three albums, I guess mine are first press, therefore there is a bonus postcard for each album. Let's start off with the CD plus DVD edition. These albums all come in a resealable plastic bag, so it's super easy to open, but also good for storage. There are two stickers on this baggie, and the one on the back tells us that the DVD runtime is 21 minutes. The postcard that's included with each album features the same photo as the one on the cover of the CD plus DVD limited edition. The back of the postcard is pretty much blank, it just says postcard at the very top. Moving on to the album, we see the same photo on the cover. Both of the spines say EXO Love Me Right Romantic Universe. The back features a photo of the same setting that the boys were sitting in, and also includes the track list. So this album has Love Me Right Romantic Universe, which is the Japanese version of Love Me Right. Um, drop that and then the less vocal version of both songs, which is basically the instrumental versions. The DVD has the Love Me Right Romantic Universe video clip, which is the music video, as well as the video clip offshot movie and the jacket offshot movie, which are basically the behind the scenes clips. The album inside the cover slides out like this. The cover has another shot of the boys, except this time they're sitting in the diner that was featured in the music video. And the back features the same setting again without the boys. The album flips open and I'm a bit scared as to when the photo card is going to fall out. But let's take a look at the discs first. The CD and DVD are both very minimalistic. Um, the only things that are printed on are the credits, um, the title of the album, the track list, and the EXO logo. Here's the inside of the case without the discs and the little insert booklet. And here's the booklet itself. There's a very out of focus shot of the diner on the cover, as well as the back. And we see the EXO logo with Love Me Right right underneath it. I can feel that the photo card is in here, so we'll just look at it whenever it decides to fall out or appear. On the very first page, we have Sekai, and I just want to say that I don't like Kai's hair like this. Thunes is okay, but if he had the dark brown hair that he's sporting right now, I would be happier as well. The next two pages are Chen and Shomin, whose blue hair I also am not the biggest fan of. Next up, we have a group shot, which is a variation of the cover of the album. Ah, look who it is! The photo card appeared since we were at the middle of the photo booklet. And as you can tell, I got the matne. The card is super thick, and for a moment I thought I actually got two accidentally, but it's just one. The back is quite plain, it just has the EXO logo and says Love Me Right right underneath it, and unfortunately doesn't include an autograph. We also have this EXO official fan club EXO L Japan insert, which unfortunately is irrelevant to me. So where were we before Seun popped out? Here are Kyungsu and Baekhyun in the middle of the booklet. After them are Chanyeol and Yixing. And lastly, Leadernim has his own page. On the page opposite Suo are the Japanese lyrics for Love Me Right. Following that, we have the lyrics for Drop That. Finally are some credits and we have reached the end. Let's move on to the member covers. As you all know, there are 9 covers this time, and the photo booklet inside is supposed to feature only the member on the cover, which is great for incentivizing fans to buy multiple copies of the same CD, but I ended up just getting these two. So who should we start off with? I say Kai. These CDs come in a resealable plastic bag as well. And again, this is the same postcard as the one from the CD plus DVD edition. Here is Kai's cover. I'm not the biggest fan of this photo, but it's him, so I had to buy it. 
The spine actually says Kai version at the very bottom. The back has the checklist and underneath that is another out of focus shot of one of the sets in the music video. Opening this album up, is that the photo card? Tanya couldn't wait any longer so he decided to pop out um, immediately sitting right on top of the CD. I think I have a yellow theme going on with my photo cards today. Anyway, here's the CD. It's exactly the same as the one from the CD plus DVD edition, except it says Kai on it. Behind the CD, we see another shot of the diner. Here's the photo book cover. It's the same as the one from the CD plus DVD edition, but just cropped differently. Opening it up, we see the XOL Japan insert again, and then a shot of Kai looking at the camera. Here are some more photos. The picture on the left is blurry, while the one on the right, I think the lighting is not hitting his face very well. And overall, these photos are very warm toned. And again, I'm not loving this hair, so I can't say that I'm all that pleased with this photo book. After a bunch of pages of Just Kai, we have another group shot, and it's the same one from the CD plus DVD booklet. Then we see the boys playing around in the game room. And then back to Kai, except this time he's outdoors so the lighting is so much better and you can finally see his face clearly. Lastly, here are the lyrics to both songs and then the credits. Moving on to the Sehun version, his cover photo is super dark as well and you can barely see his other eye on camera. Here's the postcard once more, the cover. The back is the same as the one on Kai's album, so I'm guessing that they use the same image for all of the member covers. I'm opening up the album this way so that the photo card is face down. The CD says Sehun on it, same photo book cover, same insert, and now let's take some time to enjoy Sehun. Here we have a group shot that we've seen before, but on the opposite page is actually a photo that's focusing on Sehun. It's time to find out who this final photo card is of. <laughs> uh, so in this album, I got Jumyeon, and I was thinking earlier that I would be really happy if it turned out to be Kai, but I'm actually really happy right now because this photo card is way too cute. Here are the three photo cards that I received with my albums. I do actually have a full set of the photo cards coming in the mail. Therefore, if you would like to purchase them, please let me know and we can work something out. So that's it for this video. I hope I showed the albums relatively clearly. And if you haven't ordered any copies yet, I hope this kind of helped with you deciding on which version slash versions to get. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Annyeong!